Jam by Jai Gurudev. Welcome to another day with Lalita Sundari. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to touch upon a very important question which comes to everybody's mind at one stage or the other. It is the purpose of a life. What is the purpose of a life? Wow, a big question, but could be a very simple answer. It crossed our mind at some point whether we are busy in our lives, we are happy, we are sad, depending upon the emotions, something happens that triggers this question to the mind, that mind want to know what's the purpose, could be, we, I could say, the soul want to know what's the purpose of being on the planet Earth, <laughs> being in the, being a part of Lalita's play. What's the purpose? We uh, keep assigning some purpose to ourselves, I believe. And uh, it's like giving ourselves some goals and we run after it thinking that's the purpose of my life for this moment, for this time. And once we achieve those goals, uh, we feel so happy. It's like a sugar rush, you know. You get that sugar rush and uh, but you know after sugar rush there is a come down and then that happens we, then we look for another purpose it's like every goal we treat as a purpose we just keep assigning tasks to our own self we feel like we are on a mission here like, you know like a mission to accomplish i put few words today to express myself what i believe is the purpose of my life or what i believe the purpose of humankind is was have you ever wondered by running after all the purposes which we which you have believed so far that you have and once you accomplish them you feel like i said you get a sugar rush or you can say after a while you get bored with it you get bored running after something you want to chase something all the time if we go back to the basics go back to <laughs> our roots when a life is born when a baby you know a, a tiny life is in your hands or in this world what's the purpose of that life is for that second you know, going back to the basic instincts is to survive. Life want to survive, it want to live. You know, that's the initial, you can say, purpose of when we are born. The soul believes is the how the body reacts, one food, one warmth, one comfort. So, and then slowly, slowly, when we grow, we assign ourselves more tasks when the life come out of the womb for the first time the instinct is to survive so is it like the first purpose of all of us is to survive yeah we got to live we got to be alive to fulfill other purpose which we assign to ourselves but then the question comes how to survive how do you want to live because the survival keep getting complex and complex as we grow up in a life so it's like layering on the you know layering paints on the same wall so it's the one wall we keep you know layer, layering it with paints different colors different colors that's what happened to us throughout the life and you can say from the start, I mean, you know, you go to school, learning, educating yourself, 
graduation, going to college, having a degree, then you get a job. Another purpose to build a career, to earn the money, buy a house, you know, buy the fancy car you like. Relationships, success, failures, these are the layerings we are doing on the canvas, you know, that wall. Keep layering it, keep layering it. And in these layerings, we are forgetting the real purpose, what we were here for when we were born. We just wanted to survive. We just wanted to be live. We just wanted to be a baby. We wanted to be just, you know, close to the heart of the mom, you know, because that's from where get nourished, you know, for the nourishment one to be close to her breast, uh, close to the heart to get the warmth to feel the heartbeat of the mom of the mother because that's what uh, the baby beans used to you know in the womb and we make ourselves uh, so complex a life so complex a purpose so complex whereas purpose initially was so simple when he was born he wanted to just survive and be close to your mother but then you know the society, the surroundings, the environment, wherever depends which country you're born, you know, which uh, family you're born to, all these things give you a different purpose. And then accomplishing all this paper, you still feel empty. You still don't like the color on that wall. You still want to color it again and keep changing it. And what happens is with time, you know, the layerings make the, you can say the layerings of pain, make it so thick pile between the, like a, you can say like a block, a barrier between the wall and the, where you are, that you, the more it has more time the pass, the more and more layering, you keep moving away from the actual wall and you keep moving away from your actual goal, the actual purpose which you have was of the soul because you are losing the connection. You've been layering it, it. you've been layering yourself with so many things. Yes, everything is important. Everything has a place. Yeah. But what were the purpose which is? And a question as it is so big, so huge, defines the full meaning of life and could change the perspective of so many people on their life, on their surroundings. So at that point, he just wanted to be close to your Lalita, your mom, and want to be just happy. So I think is the actual purpose of a life is to be happy. Because whatever you are doing, you are trying to end goal of all our efforts, whatever we are trying to achieve. The end result, if you see, is the same, is the happiness. Like, for example, you want to buy the most expensive car. What do you want to buy it for? Like, if you ask yourself, you want to buy it because that will make you happy, you know? Nothing wrong in it, yeah, you can go for a, a Porsche, yeah. Why? Because you, for the happiness, you feel joy when you sit inside the car, you feel luxurious, you feel the comfort. Any car will take you from A to B if, if your goal is not to, you know, go to a destination, to arrive. Your goal is to feel the journey, to be happy, you know, when you are driving, to get a better quality of the music, you know, a better cooling, a better heating, a better a seating comfort. So, but all this, what... what all this, what are they providing us? They are providing us happiness, the joy. So the actual actual end result for whatever we do is the joy. We get into a relationship for joy. You get married for a joy, for a happy life. We have kids for, for joy, like, you know, because you want to have a happy family. You want to be a mom, you want to be a dad. All this, the end of every act is, I believe, as for mine now, is I want to be happy. But if I forget everything what's in between from my start of my goal to the end, it means the purpose, like the initial stage to the end is happiness. So 
whatever lead you to that happiness should be your purpose. If I could say the same joy, the same happiness and the same feeling which you get when you go out, you know, <laughs> let's say for a night out, what people do like that joy, that the happiness, the buzz you feel going out with friends and cheering, going to, you know, wherever you like or buying, going for like a shopping, you know, if you like to go out, buy that designer clothes, the most expensive you can afford, you can buy. The same feeling if you could receive, if you could feel in your heart without actually performing the act which you do, then you still have served the purpose, isn't it? <laughs> If you think on it, if you give some thoughts, you know, take it as a food of thought and think. So, the purpose is to be happy. The purpose is to feel that joy. And how do we get that joy? Is, I believe, if I go back again, you know, back to the roots, is the being with my mother. A biological mother, of course, and the universal mother. The mother who created this universe, the mother who, you know, placed me in this universe. Ki, hey, enjoy it, live it, be happy, cherish it. Like this is my garden. This is what I created. And here I place you in, in it, full of adventures, full of mysteries <laughs> that's what life's are it's adventurous it's an adventurous ride no one knows what lies tomorrow i don't know what what happened after i make this video i don't know no one knows so you know he said like here we go my child i send you to a land of adventures mysteries but a very beautiful land called the planet earth and go there and enjoy and live it. That's what the play of Lalita is. And to do that, what I realized is to be happy, you know, be happy in what you do. And to feel that happiness, to feel that bliss, to feel that contentment inside and that <laughs> big smile on your face, not just like, you know, face the soul and it's feeling good. Even you're feeling so happy if, you know, in a, wherever you are, maybe in a park, in a garden or sitting beside a river, the joy comes when your soul connects back to the root. And our roots are as physical roots are from the mother. So, so is the soul is with the mother. So we sh I believe what I request or what I suggest if somebody <laughs> want to believe or try my philosophy then make your purpose to be blissful to be happy, to connect with her, with the nature, with your mother. Give a few moments in your day. Sit down, you know, somewhere quiet where you can feel something inside. Close your eyes or keep them open however you like at a spot just feel inside start with you know if you even start feeling your own heartbeat because she's inside us she's in the heart it's like feeling her like while talking to you i could feel my heartbeat a little bit just feel it just breathing that's why they say like you know take nice deep breaths because what we are with breathing what we're doing we're trying to connect to the inner, inner, I would say the heart of ourselves, relaxing it. You could feel it nice. So give few moments 
I know you have a lot more purposes to do, a lot of goals to achieve, you want to get the best in this world. I wish everybody get what they desire, if their desire is for the best. Yeah, I'm not going to say you get what you desire for because sometimes, you know, stupidity, you might desire something when you're not in the right frame of mind, something wrong. So whatever is best for you should happen to all of you. But while you're going through the best or the worst or the medium phases of your life, try to give yourself a few moments with her. Feel the place, feel the happiness and that's actual purpose of a life is. That's what you are actually after. You might realize it today listening to this video, you might realize it after 10 years, 5 years, in a month, you might have already known all these facts and agreeing with me. So in the end, we all want to be happy. We all want to be loved. And to love, to be loved, the first thing is love yourself. Accept the things as they are. Initially, and then start working on them. Unless we accept the situation, the reality, we can never improve it. We can't change it because we haven't even accepted, you know, unless you accept. Like, I do gardening. I give an example of gardening. I've been gardening outside earlier. Unless I accept, like, okay, this plant uh, needs a shelter, like I planted, for example, aubergine, you know, eggplant. Unless I accept, like, okay, this plant need more warmth, even if it's sunny outside, it need a sheltered, you know, maybe a greenhouse or a polyton or something like this need to be covered. Unless I accept it, how will I get that fruit? If I say, no, 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 no I'm going to just plant it, I'm just going to treat it like a courgette, cool like a, because, you know, they can grow uh, in normal weather as well, they don't need the extra heat. If I treat an eggplant, an aubergine, as a courgette, and what about the aubergine if I give the same open cold weather, not that hot to the, not that like a, not too warm weather to the, if I don't accept the reality of the conditions of the plant, you know, when you receive like, okay, this needs shelter, this is shady plant, then how will it bloom? So it's not, it means the problem is not the plant, problem is, means the problem is not the life. Life is not the problem. Problem is how we perceive it. Problem is we're not accepting things. Accept them, then work on them. And every day, give few moments to your heart where she lives, the Lalita. So, yes, in simple words, in few words, happiness is the real purpose of life, to enjoy Every day, every moment is the actual, you know, purpose of a life. You can make it as complex as you can. You can make it as simple as you can. <laughs> and thank you for listening. So, Jambi, Jai Gurudev. And I wish everybody's purpose get fulfilled.